up YouTube's Mr. West. So the Galaxy S8 UK release is almost here. We see Samsung evolve their classic metal and glass designs seen in last year's Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge and do the impossible by shrinking a larger screen into an even smaller package. But before I put the S8 through its paces for my full review, let's take a look at the unboxing experience and what's inside this classic soft touch black packaging. The model I have here in this likes looking shipping box is the beautiful Orchid Grey Standard S8 and opening the box was greeted by the phone itself which, whilst grading photos, you've really got to see this in person to appreciate the awesome design and craftsmanship. It's a pretty comprehensive package too, with a set of premium AKG earbuds complete with replacement silicon pads to suit all ears, Samsung's adaptive fast charger, USB-C charging cable, micro USB to USB-C adapter, USB-A to USB-C adapter, a SIM ejector tool and finally some user manuals if you ever get bored on the can. Oh, and everything is colour coded in this ninja black for added stealthiness, which is a great touch. So, peeling back the protective foil with that oddly satisfying feeling, we get to marvel at this truly superb design, with every edge and seam beautifully matched together with true flagship precision. At the rear, that opinion splitting fingerprint scanner flanks a 12 megapixel camera with its dual pixel sensors, and this is neighboured by the flash and the focus module. The sides of the phone are the usual collection of volume rockers, the power key, oh, and this redundant button here. The Galaxy S family now welcomes a new USB-C port, and thankfully some of the seam alike and left enough room for a headphone jack and micro SD card expansion, but with a generous 64GB of built-in memory, this may not be needed, but it is nice to have the choice. Up front is an 8 megapixel autofocus selfie camera, the proximity sensor and straight from the Galaxy Note 7 spare parts bin is this surprisingly useful iris scanner which is most of the time pretty accurate and makes it for that weird fingerprint sensor for placement. But the real star of this impressive package is the 5.8 inch Quad HD curved Super AMOLED Infinity display and for me, this is quite simply the finest phone display I've seen in quite some time, with a really striking appearance in this new loftier 18x5x9 aspect ratio, giving the phone this extra tall and slender appearance. With this almost bezel-less design, your eyes might be deceived into thinking this is smaller than its fabulous size measurements suggest. Yes, the screen's super saturated, but I haven't been able to stop looking at it. Next to my trusty OnePlus 3T, I'm forced to re-evaluate what I thought 5 months ago seemed like a pretty cool and understated design, and like all modern Samsungs, this one likes the water too, with IP68 water and dust resistance, allowing walks in the rain and dips in the pool to be worry free. But let's not get ahead here, the proof of whether this awesome design with true flagship specs can live up to its promise, that's a tale for another day. So me and my new digital friend will get acquainted for the next few days while I leave my OnePlus 3T confined to some dark draw somewhere. Join me soon for my full review and for my views on whether this year's Samsung flagship deserves a place in your pocket. Hi Mr West and this has been my unboxing and first impressions of the new Samsung Galaxy S8. Thanks very much for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more great content and I'll catch you guys later.